in school some extraordinary people, much like Miss Ida May, teachers who thought that I could do certain things and who put on my path constantly um, extra things that I could do. Um, I'm amazed to think about it today, uh, the effort that it must have taken. Because if you, le if you were teaching in the 50s and even into the 60s, you surely couldn't have thought that the world was going to change. I don't know how you would have made that leap of faith. And yet, they taught us as if they thought the world would open up one day. I, I still don't understand how they were able to envision that, but they did. And so um, they prepared us for a world that didn't exist, but that they hoped would one day exist. And so, um, so I studied hard and didn't expect to be able to go to college. Everybody I knew um, close to me was a maid who was a woman. Men were um, janitors or um, blue collar workers. So I expected to be a maid. So I was preparing myself to follow in their footsteps, except that um, teachers insisted that I should aim for something different. And I had one teacher, uh, who, um, Vernell Lilly, who said, you can go to college. Um, and I didn't even know what that meant or how to make that possible, but she had gone to Dillard University. And she contacted them and asked them to give me a scholarship. And by doing that, she made a way for me to go to college, this teacher. Unbelievable. Um, and so, uh, terrified as I was, never to have left home before, and then to get on a train and go to New Orleans, to this foreign place, away from my family, uh, terrifying. Uh, but I did. Um, luckily, by the time I went off to college, I, I had become a pretty impossible person. Uh, very uh, stubborn, uh, very determined, uh, very um, sassy, um, very opinionated. 